This tutorial will describe the general usage of the acoustic station, also referred to as the buoy processing station, found on the FIG-7, MH-60, and P-3 platforms. The respective screens for each are generally alike in their operation, with the exception of a few minor differences on each platform. For detailed information on the acoustic station and all other components of the game, we encourage you to consult the manual. The FIG-7, MH-60, and P-3C are all able to process sono buoy data. In these platforms, sono buoy transmissions are received, processed, and the data is displayed in the CRT display windows, also called grams. Whenever a gram is turned into a sono buoy, the data displayed defaults to omnidirectional mode. A sono buoy in omni mode returns non-directional frequency data so it cannot determine the bearing of the contact only that there is something out there. When in omni mode the sono buoy only requires one gram window. When switched to directional mode the display will show frequencies and bearings and will require two gram windows. Active mode returns bearing and range data and requires three windows. Let's return to the nav map station. This symbol represents a sono buoy. The number below the sono buoy is the channel on which the sono buoy is currently transmitting. If the center of the sono buoy icon contains a red dot, then that indicates that the buoy has detected a contact and is considered a hot buoy. When you hook the buoy in the nav map, it will show you what type of buoy it is, so you will know the buoy's capabilities. The DIFAR buoy is on channel 1 in this mission. It has the ability to display passive sonar information in omni and directional modes. Also, the DIFAR allows you to classify the contact by comparing the narrowband frequencies to a library of known platforms and their frequencies. See the manual for a more detailed description of classification. The VLED is on channel 2 and is identical to the DIFAR except that it has a slightly better processor and can passively detect contacts at farther distances. When a mission with a high sea state increases the level of background noise, the VLAD should be your buoy of choice to try and separate the contact out of the noise. The DICAS is on channel 3 and is similar to the DIFAR with its passive omni and directional modes, but also has the ability to actively ping and therefore to derive target range. Lastly, the BT buoy is on channel 4 and is similar to the XBT probe launched from the submarines in the game. This buoy will determine if there is a thermal layer and the depth for that layer. Since we know the channels that the buoys are transmitting on, we go to the acoustic screen and tune in those buoys and demonstrate the usage of each of their interfaces. On channel 1 is a DIFAR buoy. We can click on the channel digits to tune in to channel 1. We see that there are contacts and their frequencies are shown. By clicking the mode button, the DIFAR will be changed to a directional mode that will occupy another gram. By selecting the bearing of one of the detected frequencies shown, we can mark a contact. On channel 2 is the VLAD buoy. Its interface is identical to the DIFAR, and we can enter directional mode to begin to mark contacts. By clicking the library button, we can classify the contact and decide if the detected platform may be hostile. On channel 3 is the DICAST buoy. When in active mode, the DICAST buoy requires 3 gram windows for processing. We will click the transmit button and mark the bearing and range of the resulting contacts. The BT buoy is on channel 4 and has little in terms of interaction. However, the thermal layer is very important for finding enemies below the depth specified. Take note of the thermal layer and then tune the gram to process another buoy. At any time, we can also scuttle the buoy by clicking the scuttle button. Be careful though, once a buoy is scuttled, you will no longer be able to tune it in. New passive contact bearing two, that completes five, our tutorial two, of the acoustic two, station zero, and general two, sono buoy usage. One, Consult zero, the manual zero, for additional details on each of the acoustic bearing, stations three, on the zero, FFG, P3, and MH60, two, and tactics to utilize one, those stations zero, successfully zero, in the game. Five,